Okay, let's start by rewriting this. So we have the integral of cotangent x to the one half cosecant squared oh, x dx. Typically, we take the bigger variable if, it's not ha if it doesn't have to do with the trig, but this one has to do with the derivative. So you have to ask yourself, can I derive the first piece to get the second one or derive the second piece to get the first one? What do we remember from the derivatives? Cosecant squared is negative cotangent. Cosecant squared is negative cotangent? Yeah. What about cotangent is cosecant squared? Okay, so let's write on here u is equal to this right here, <coughs> cotangent of x. So when I derive the first one, we get du is equal to the derivative of cotangent is negative what? Cosecant. Oh, goodness. Did I merge two and the square all together? I think I did. Boop. Cosecant squared dx. And then we're pretty much almost there. We have cosecant squared, but they're positive, right? So I need to move it over to the other side. So negative du is equal to cosecant squared x dx, which I now have all of. So if I were to use my u substitution, I'm gonna bring this outside. So we have negative integral of u to the 1 half du. And let's do our normal um, integration. <coughs> what is one more than this? So did I hear 3 half? 1 and 3 half. This negative is from the original. So we have u to the 3 half plus c. And then could I do the reciprocal of this one? So we have negative 2 third, and u is in place of cotangent. 3 half plus c, and that will be our final answer. So it's all about which part can I derive to get the other part.